Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick tip on something I think everybody should do as soon as they open um, an, an AWS account. I got stung by, by this or the related um, topic uh, last month and I want to sort of give you a quick uh, overview of a very few simple steps you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Okay, It's to do with basically, so all these services that, um, that you can play around with and start and stop etc etc Amazon obviously makes it very easy for you to play around with the free tier and um, and, and, and everything's very easy to sort of set up but sometimes it's, it's, it's easy to lose track of what you've actually started um, and if if you're not careful the cost can add up and you can get stung with a bill that you weren't expecting okay so um, I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna show you that so if we go to billing and cost management okay um, I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but this is your sort of cost dashboard and it basically gives you a breakdown of um, of what your total costs have been um, month by month, basically. So um, if you see here this month, uh, well, last month, uh, July 2016, I got I actually logged into this the other day and I um, I saw, wow, like, you know, that's a lot, lot more than I kind of thought that I'd been uh, been using. So yeah, you can see here in the Cost Explorer that in uh, July 2016, I racked up a, a bill of around $50. Now, I'm just using my personal account at the moment for really kind of uh, just just playing around with, and, and, and basically not intending to do anything outside the free tier. So when I saw this, I was trying to think, well, what on earth was it? Um, so I basically um, found out that the, the reason that I'd incurred all these costs was because I'd started a um, a NAT instance inside the um, inside the the VPC side of things, right? So, so I had absolutely no reason um, to to create a NAT gateway. I'm not quite sure why I did. I think I was must have been playing around or something. You can see I've set up a, a VPC and and some subnets. So I've been playing around, and I think that so the NAT gateway is one component that, that they'll charge you um, a. Uh, an hourly fee for for having up right and so so it turned out that um that this is this is why i'd incurred so much charge and um so basically i i, I called them up and said L listen i mean is there anything you can do here because you know i was a mistake and to, to be fair to them they were very they were very uh amenable and very uh understanding and they basically waived the charge and so um but what i'm what i want to show you how to do is to set up an alert on your um, on your billing so that you get an early warning by email or by text message um, or various other uh, uh, protocols um, to when your when your estimated charges exceeds a certain threshold right and if I'd done this a month ago then this whole thing would never have happened so what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly show you um, it, it, it's all done through CloudWatch. So the first thing you need to do before you do this is to go to your go back to your billing and cost management section, and you need to go to preferences, and then you need to tick that receive billing alerts box. Okay. So once that's done, you go back to the console, go to CloudWatch, and then so I've got two warnings here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete these. Um, I'm going to delete these and, and create them from scratch. Okay, so I'm just going to select those two. All right. So if if you're not aware, so CloudWatch is basically your um, your kind of um, AWS monitoring service, right? It 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 does a lot more than this. Um, I can do do more videos on it later, but um, down here essentially, it, it it gives you it defines certain standard metrics um, out of the box that you can inspect. Okay, so you can basically look at billing metrics. You can you, you can look at DynamoDB metrics, S3, SNS, for example, and um, uh, so we're focusing on billing here, right? So if I click on billing, these are all the billing metrics. So we've got total estimated charge in US dollars. The metric name is estimated charges, but then we have the same thing but broken down by service name. So you can actually track your your S3 usage as opposed uh, charges effectively. Um, as opposed to your total charges, right? But but I'm more interested in total charges for now. So if I if I click this, then what you see is under on the bottom screen, it actually opens the it opens up the actual 
uh, the graph for that uh, for that particular metric over time, and you can change the you can change the axis down here, etc. So you can do three weeks, sorry, three days, one week, etc., etc. I believe so. This is when the 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 guys at Amazon basically waived my uh, my um, Nat gateway charges this month. So what we're going to show you is so if you look up here, you see alarms. Okay, so alarms is um, is basically a way for you to set up um, alerts based on the status of certain metrics, right? So if I do create alarm, and I'm going to do um, billing metrics, and I'm going to do total estimated charge, right? So I'm going to basically select that one, and I'm going to go next, and then it's just give it a name. So uh, let's say estimate. charge and I'll just give the description the same and I'm going to say this time I'm going to be quite stingy with myself and because I just want to get the notification because I'm not hope I'm hoping not to spend anything in this account at the moment right so I'm going to say that if my at any point my total estimated charges for the month exceed five dollars right then I am going to basically send a notification right now this is the this is the uh, the 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 subtlety of, of how you actually define who gets the message right so I'm actually gonna have to come out of this one second I'll, I'll go I'll do it I'll do it again right but the so there's a service called simple sorry well yeah simple notification services and this is basically it comes under the mobile services umbrella but it's actually used by CloudWatch as well so if I just click this one and I do um, create topic. Right, a topic is basically a um, a well, it's it's exactly that. It's a topic um, to which people subscribe, and therefore events can pub can be published to a certain topic, and the subscribers to that topic will 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 get to know about it. Right, so I'm going to create a topic name called billing alerts. Okay, and I'm going to give the same. Doesn't really matter too much down there. Okay, just create, just create billing, create topic. Okay, so I created the topic. Now what I have to do is I have to um, create a subscription to that topic. So basically, because I'm going to publish the 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 um, the alert to the topic, and the subscribers of the topic will will get the um, get the message. Now, um, so what what you do here is you you do create subscription. And so you can basically, so you give the topic ARN. So we're going to go back to the topic that we just created. So the ARN is the, uh, the resource number that, um, that applies to every single resource in Amazon uh, Web Services. Go back to subscriptions. We're going to do create subscription. We're going to enter the ARN for the topic. And we can choose the protocols here. right? So basically, um, you can do, as I said, you can do SMS, you can do... Um, email. I'm going to do email, right? So I'm, I want to receive an email, but you can receive a text message too. And I'm going to put my email address in there. So what happens now is that that, that email address gets a um, gets a, a request to basically confirm that they that they want to subscribe to this service. And therefore, now I have my topic. I now have my topic um, for uh, for the billing alerts. So I'm going to go back to the CloudWatch. And I'm going to basically go back to the alarms, and I'm going to do. I'm going to go to billing. And I'm going to do create alarm. Okay, now, so I'm going to say, as I say, I'm going to say. When the AWS charges for the month exceed five US dollars, I'm going to I'm going to send a notification to, billing alerts. So billing alerts appears by default because it's the only topic that I have in the system. Right, if I had other topics, then they'd be in the drop down, and then. I do create alarm. Now this, so basically, so this, um, this is basically in a, um, it's in a, it's in a pending confirmation state. Um, so I, I need to sort of wait, wait a while before this so can actually be used. Um, so basically, that's in a nutshell. As soon as my charges exceed five dollars, I'm going to get an email um, saying that uh, you need. To, well, you don't need to do anything, but. Um, you probably want to shut down something that, uh, or check there was nothing that you 
that you um, that you started that you didn't mean to. So that's that's really that. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them below, and I'll answer them if I can. And yeah, see you in the next video.